Here are seven cheap high quality colognes under $35 that will save you money, why they'll save you money, and everything you need to know about them. The first is Periel's 360 Red for Men. It is based on bright citric lime, some cinnamon spice, and a lot of aquatic undertones. It is a very refreshing fragrance with decent performance. This is the best Aqua de Geo cologne, and it is only $23, and it is still good enough to be its own thing. Now the second fragrance on this list is Versace the Dreamer. It is an absolute classic. It has some soapy white florals, a spicy and green herbal aroma, and dark tobacco. This honestly smells like a luxury bar of soap mixed with unsmoked cigars. This fragrance does take some getting used to, but it has the wearability and attention grabbing nature that you want. Now the performance is decent and with spray moderation, it can be worn all year round. Now let's jump into the third fragrance on this list. La Ligue En Cote New York. And one thing you don't wanna do with this fragrance is overspray. There is no reason you ever, ever need more than three sprays of this stuff. It will make you nauseous. The projection is room filling, but it only lasts six to seven hours. This is a great fragrance for the fall and winter, but it can't be worn any other time of the year. Now the second thing you need to know this scent is all about spicy woods. There are some damp, dark, and piney accents as well. The easiest way to think of it, imagine you're walking through the forest at 7 a.m. It's hours after a fresh rain. You reach down, you pick up a handful of brown pine needles and you smell them. This is the closest resemblance. I mean this in the highest quality and best way possible. So now the third and most important thing to know, this is the fragrance equivalent of a man with a long and well-kept beard and a flannel and jeans. But it's not for everyone because it is a very mature, masculine, and decisive fragrance. As we get into some of the better cheap colognes, how do you know these are actually good enough to save you money? Well, I'll be the first to say these are not to the quality of Prada Lome or Tom Ford Ombre Leather, but they are also a fifth of the price. So none of these cheap ones smell synthetic or smell off-putting because they are affordable fragrances, which is nice and different from many other cheap fragrances. Now the fourth cheap cologne is Davidoff Coldwater EDT. There are four things that really stick out to me. First and foremost, this was a game changer for aquatic scents. It was released in the 80s and has now been ripped off countless times. Yet even though it's an old school fragrance, it is still quality and very wearable by men of all ages. Davidoff Coldwater EDT will save you money and it is worth the hype. Now the second key point, this is a very easy to wear fragrance that will please everyone's taste for both you and those around you. Even if I overspray, I never get negative compliments, but I also don't get positive compliments. I have been told that this is a better compliment getter than Bleu de Chanel EDP and Dior Sauvage EDP, but I haven't gotten those results. So for me, the compliment factor is still up in the air. Now, the third thing you need to know, this lasts six to seven hours with light projection. It is only spring and summer wear, but very wearable for all occasions. I'm going to give this fragrance an average performance rating. So now onto the fourth key point. The smell is a quality blend of green herbalness and aquatic backbone with some musk that smells like clean sheets. Yes, it is a classic scent, but it is exceptionally simple, fresh, and masculine. F Black by Salvatore Ferragamo is the fifth cheap cologne, and most of the time I forget I'm wearing a $35 cologne. It makes me feel like I'm wearing a well-fitted suit in a room of guys in sweatpants. It smells a lot more expensive than it is in my second most recommended fragrance on this list. Now the second of three things about this fragrance is that this lasts an entire workday with a light and consistent scent bubble. This is one of my favorite parts about it because it is so wearable. In the heat, you do just have to moderate your sprays. Now with this said, I'm only going to give F Black a slightly above average performance rating. Now the most important part about this fragrance, this is very simple. It is a very balanced blend of smooth and calming lavender with an energizing spice that both grabs attention and gives it the very classy, well-fitted suit type feel. For me, this is not a compliment magnet, but the scent is very attention grabbing and a great way to level up your game without putting in too much effort. The sixth fragrance is Dracar Noir EDT, and it's a masculine classic scent that smells so good because it's so simple. All it smells like is green herbs with clean and metallic shaving cream, and then a backbone of light mossy woods. And I mean all of this in the best and highest quality way possible. Now the second thing of four about Dracar Noir EDT that you need to know, and my favorite part, it is a great office wear and easy for everyone to enjoy. This is a great fragrance for a man looking to wear a cologne for himself. This perfectly balances standing out, but also not screaming for attention. It's a very likable gentleman scent. Now the next thing you need to know and the most important for you, Dracar Noir is bound to save you money because for $23, 
you get a quality and very wearable scent. Of all fragrances on this list, it is the cheap fragrance that I recommend most. And the fourth thing you need to know, this lasts six hours with light and consistent projection. Even though it is an average performer, I still recommend it because it does have such great cost for value. Now, speaking of great cost for value, the seventh fragrance. This lasts six hours with an intense scent bubble and the majority of the wear, it is very pleasant for only $20. This fragrance has the best cost for value on this list by far. It helps that this is one of the best vanilla fragrances as well, as it does smell like pure vanilla extract. There is something so invigorating about the cardamom spice that coats the edges, but unfortunately, it can be a bit too intense at first, so just give these spices 10 to 15 minutes to really settle down. Now, besides these spices and vanilla, there's nothing else to this fragrance. It is simple quality and perfectly balances being too sweet and not sweet enough. This brings me to the second to last key point. This fragrance will please everyone and you are included in that statement. It's never been a huge compliment getter for me, but I know women love it because it has a very comforting and cozy allure. Of all cheap first fragrances, it is one of the best, but comes in third on this list based on how I would purchase these seven cheap colognes. So this fragrance, is Crema Spice and Black Vanilla. If you want cheap colognes, but only for the winter, check out this video. 